rescue curtain. This is designed for multiple victims in uh, in one go. We've got one person on river left. His job's to hold the rope uh, until he's got all the victims. The victims will grab that rope and then river left guy will let go of his end causing the rope system, the rescue curtain, to track downstream and to the right. Here we're able to rescue multiple victims at once. How we set it up on far river left hand side, over there we've got it tied to a tree. That will be initially anchored off as a tensionless hitch or a munta. And also down this side we've got a tensionless hitch tensionless hitch and we've created the tension on that top line using mechanical advantage here we're able to reset the system river left just pulls the rope to retension it you'll notice these loops are draping down uh, on the water's uh, surface that's the right spot we can either use carabiners by themselves or pulley onto carabiner pulleys work better uh, you'll notice how they're um, tied off in little sections. We're just creating loops, long loops, up to the tension diagonal. And uh, on the river right-hand side, you can clearly see here, we've tensioned off that haul line. So that resetting line is tied off our side. So this can be a one-person operation. The more people we get loaded into the curtain, the more load it's going to be on the rescuer on river left. So he should create some sort of friction around a tree. They're all complaining about the temperature of the water. Okay, it's, uh, it's um, May and it's getting cold. Rescue curtain. As we load it up, the, the, uh, the tension will become slack. Uh, so we need to retension it using the mechanical advantage. This can be set up as a downstream safety. So if we've got a bus, car upstream, 